and award team trophies for the world championships for the first time ever. Here's how the scoring will work. It'll be combined men and women. First place is eight, all the way down to eighth place, which is one point. And again, the team that wins will get trophies. So this made me look up, hey, who usually wins the team competition? And if you're thinking Team USA, you are absolutely correct because they do keep these stats. They don't give out trophies, but they do keep these statistics. And by my count, they won the last 13 world championships and Olympics. It's never that close. 2015, the U.S. had a historically bad time at those championships, and they still won 214 to 174. The last loss came in 2003 to Russia, 217 to 160. So I do like this. This is fun. And they're doing it for the top three teams. So there could be some battles there for second and third. One thing I wish they would have done, I wish they would have done a separate men's and women's competition just to involve more countries in it. Because if you have the U.S., who just because of the depth and breadth of their team is going to win, most of the time that takes some of the drama out of it. And if you cut the amount of events in half, you invite more teams in that could possibly win. I agree with that. I also think they should have did the scoring 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and not 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Like that's stupid. 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 is better. You should get more credit for winning as opposed to just getting. Uh, right, right. Like, yeah, anyway. So I think that. Um, the problem with this situation is that so technically everything is on an equal basis because everyone can only send a certain amount of people per event, right? So there's li- limits on events. So therefore it is yeah. equal because everyone only gets three slots, four if you have a wild card. I'm just trying to think of a way to come up with a new system that isn't going to be obviously USA every time. Like USA is going to win this every time. Like they're never yeah. gonna, not going to win this. And that kind of sucks. You wish there could be a way to figure out how to make it so USA has to like be like earn it. I don't not that they're yeah. not earning it. I get it's just like you kind of wish it wasn't so one one sided. Like you mentioned, the last time they lost was to Russia, and Russia's not even in the world athletics anymore. So like, uh, yeah. you just kind of wish there was a way to score the team that wasn't obviously who knew the winner was going to be because then it's like who's going to win we like where we know who's going to win i think splitting up 13 in a row that a bit so yeah you want to shrink the amount of events because when you go back and you look at all these championships there's years where the u.s didn't have the most gold medals and there's years when the medal count is pretty close the problem is the more this relies on depth the u.s advantage just grows and grows and grows because four through eight that's where having three people in virtually every event starts to pay off. So the way to make it closer would be to shrink the amount of people that are scoring, but that's a tough task. What this does highlight, and I was talking to a coach the other day about this, he brought points. It's like if you did a team scoring at the Olympics and there was a team medal, USA track and field would be among the most dominant teams in history, right? Because as I just mentioned, Relative to the world, if you score it yeah. every single event, 13 titles in a row for USA. And in most cases, it's not close. Now, the U.S. dominates a lot of different sports on the Olympic side of things. But track, it's hard to envision them losing going forward. Because it, it just seems like every time they're going to get three in every single event and every time they're going to get – close to 30 medals, and then you just do the math from there, it becomes very difficult for anybody to catch up. So now here's the next question. Mm. If you make the world championship team for USA, you get knocked out in the first round, do you get to call yourself a world champion because your team won? I think the trophy is just a team trophy. Yeah, it says team trophies. So it just goes to the coach, I think. So no, you don't 
you don't get to. The coach gets to call themselves a championship coach. I don't think the individual like people on that are like, team. yes, and I want a team title. Look at me. That'd be a new stat line. It'd be like Ryan Krauser, 30 time team champion. Team title. He's just on every world yeah. championship team. I, do you think in the future we could see this at the Olympics where they literally give out medals to everybody on the team too? And it's counted? I doubt. I mean, yeah, I can see them doing it, but it's also it's like participation points. Like, and the the problem you is, have... the, you know, also we call it Team USA, but like they're not on the same team. Like mm-hmm. they just happen to live in the same square footage of of land, you know, square miles of land. That's the only mean they make them a team. Interesting. Um, I mean, you could also say that for any track team, really. Because I'm here at NCAAs, and even though you're on one team, they're all segmented. Like, the high mm-hmm. jumpers aren't being 